All right, guys, today I'll be doing a conversion kit on a Honda EU 2000i inverter. Um, the kit will be in the description below. It'll have everything you need in it. The kit I'm using today is a Century Fuel Products. Um, I will be doing a Honda EU 3000 later. Um, the next video, I got a kit for that one too. Um, gives you step by step picture instructions on how to do it. Pretty cool. No words, just shows you how to do it. Alright, so we're going to go to step one take off that front cover. Alright, so flathead screwdriver, take out the front cover. Uh, take out the air filter. It shows only taking these out, but I'm pretty sure that there's another bolt under here that they missed. So we're going to take this air filter cover off. So usually there's another bolt right here. Somebody's been in this one before and it's missing. So 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, 8 millimeter, 8 millimeter. Alright, slide this off. Okay, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and cut this line right here, right in the middle of this section, like that. And then we're going to put this fuel on off valve in between. It comes with a couple of clamps and everything. The clamp they gave was a little bit too big on this. I'll have to get some other clamps for it. Um, but first, we're just going to go ahead and pull this right on off right before I get it all hooked up. Um, go ahead and take these two eight millimeters off. Put pressure on both of these and pull it out. And you're going to take these bolts out of this case. With those, the kit comes with new ones. Just goes right back in it. Just like that. Then you're going to go ahead and bolt that back up. So it's like that. I don't know exactly what they're planning on doing because that sticks way out the side of this thing seem a bit too long I mean, maybe they got you got you cutting off the bolts or something I don't know I guess we'll figure that out put the carburetor back on so then it says flows that way so we're gonna set that up in here gasket on that and then the air filter assembly back on that Got your fuel on off right there. Go ahead and tighten that down. It doesn't say to do this, but it's the only way I can see this cabinet closing. I'm gonna cut these studs back off, the extra studs off. All right, so I just put the cover on to see. It does close. This sticks out just a little bit where this is touching, but it does close. So that's all fine. All right, so I'm gonna take this back off drill a hole right here that's gonna be that big around I got these bits here it's not gonna be big enough but once I get in there I can waller it out a little bit and be careful you don't go too big it clicks right in to the hole now we're gonna go ahead and take these two feet off it's got all the plastic it's 10 millimeter inside each one of course, the plastic on the bottom of this was too brittle for it to come out. It just broke out. Freaking awesome. So now i got to figure out how to fix that. So I'm going to put a really big washer on this and just get it back in there and hold it down. And then it'll just sandwich it in again. Um, but this is what they want you to do. They want you to grind that little nipple off that guy right there just like that just grind it right off all right so i got some fender washers to hopefully take care of that we'll see how that goes so it looks like i'm gonna have to tear this thing all kinds of apart just to be able to do this uh I, i've done these kits before but it was a different setup i have to tell you this has not been the easiest setup I'll make sure that I put this kit in the description below, but I'll put the easier kit that I've used before. Customer bought this one. Not pleased with it at all yet. 
We're still trying. Oh my god, I've been on this thing for friggin' ever. Alright, so I got him in place. I got some Gorilla Glue on this plate to hold it down too. Um, I had to use those big washers to really to get him to hold again. So I got that. This was a really big pain in the ass. I don't think they counted on that. These bottoms get brittle and taking the feet off really isn't an option. So I'll have a, a easier kit that I've used before in the description below. Now we gotta get this piece prepared. Um, this goes on this section right here. Um, it has some kind of lock sealing on it, but it also comes with a paste, PTF paste. So we're gonna put some of that on these threads. Like that, get it goobered on there, and then screw it into that. Okay, so the, uh, the uh, short length of pipe, the 5 8 is going to go through this hole and up in and plug into that. And get this piece here. I believe this is, uh, yeah, it screws on this side and it screws on this side. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put paste on this side and this side. Screw it into this, tighten it right down. Take these two nuts out of the bottom. Then we're going to take them and mount them, mount this down this way. And tighten it down. We're going to go ahead and get this wrapped around, stab it right on that. I wonder if I could, you know, I think I can shorten this up a little bit. I'm going to shorten this up so it's not so out there so i'm going to shorten it up a little bit and then stab it on there we're going to take the big hose and then we're going to tighten it down onto this one here and then the regulator is going to go on the other end of the hose this part with the yellow cap goes right into your uh, uh propane tank I'm going to put my air filters and the air filter cover back on. I would show you this thing start and run, but unfortunately I don't have any propane here and the customer didn't bring any to me. But the startup procedure is basically you plug this into the tank, turn the tank on, you hit this button back here a few times to bleed the air out of the line, and then you just pull start it. You don't have to choke it or anything. Just have it on. Make sure this fuel gate, uh, this fuel is off, and you pull start it, and it starts right up. Um, I have to uh, do a few more things to this. I have to put oil in it. I took the oil out because I had it on its side and everything. Plus, I wanted to add fresh, brand new, full synthetic in there because he's going to be running this thing off its natural gas, and and it's going to need it. Um, I. I also got to put this side cover on, which you saw fits on there, and then I got a couple other covers where I had to do some repairs on this thing to be able to get it going. Alright guys, this helped you in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'll put this kit, if I can find it, on Amazon in the description below, and, but unless you got a brand new machine, I would not suggest it. Um, because the where the feet go it just gets so brittle and I had a pain in the ass time repairing it. Um, I, I have a kit that I've used before at Amazon uh, that works great. You don't have to go through all this crap. It mounts better and everything. So I'll put that in the description below as well. Alright guys, hope this helped. Uh, today's t-shirt will be in the description as well. If you want me to wear some of your business shirts, please mail them in. Peace.